So what is the new normal? It's called mandates, folks, and they're coming down the pike. There's more mandates coming down the pike. It's why you need to be prepared now. Now, the reason is, is because if you don't play along with their playbook, your life is going to get very difficult very quickly. Unfortunately, that is a very hard thing to say living in this country. When our freedoms are what we live by, we're bred that, you know, we live and die for this country, for our freedoms. Men and women have died for this country, for our freedoms. And to have these mandates put in place, the way that they're being done, well, it's almost like a slap in the face. Because I think that it divides the country more than it does bring us together. You see, there's nothing to bring us together anymore, it seems like. It seems like you're either on one side or the other. There is no straddle on the fence because somebody just kicked the fence post right out from underneath you. If you get what I'm saying here, folks. Now, it's all up to you. You all have the decision. You have to decide whether you want to play by the playbook. You want to decide if you want to choose to get the, if you know what I'm talking about, we have to watch what we say here, folks. A lot of things are being monitored. A lot of things are being watched. And there's a lot of people out there that just love to push the good old delete button. So we're going to keep it clean and safe as much as possible. If you get what I'm saying. Okay. So you come back to you. You have to make this decision. Now, if you don't make this decision, and if you don't want to get the, we all know what can start to happen. They're already starting to put all types of mandates in place. Besides going after your jobs, your workforce, where you can work, if you have to get tested every week, if you don't want to get the, you know, is it going to come down to a point where you're not going to be able to travel any way, shape, or form? I would not be surprised if somewhere down the pike that this is all going to come around and you're not going to be able to get on plane, trains, automobiles, or anything. You won't be able to leave your state even if you are not, well, vaccinated. Now, Who's to say if they're not going to take this and push it as far as they possibly can and try to make it to where if you even want to go to your local grocery store to do your grocery shopping for you and your family, that, well, you're going to have to show a little card. Now, this card has all this fun information on it. Can't be just a credit card. Can't be just anything else. You have to show proof. And they're already doing this in a lot of different states. You have to show proof of a vaccination card. You have to show proof and it has to match the ID in your wallet. They're looking at the signatures. They're looking at everything. But when you go to vote, well, you should have to show all that information there, right? I mean, fair is fair and love and war here. Now, I'm not saying I'm on one side. I'm not saying I'm on another. I'm not going to put my own opinion in on this as far as which side I fall on. What I'm trying to do is to make sure that you all understand what the consequences are and what's coming down the pike. I have done several different videos and I have warned you people that this was coming. I told you this was my opinion. Read between the lines. You can see what is coming down the pike. You can see what they're planning. You can see what they want to do. The choice is yours. If you want to play ball, you're fine. If you don't want to play ball, well, you might want to really start preparing now and putting as much food and supplies away that you think you're going to need. Probably for a very long time. I don't think the smoke on this one's going to clear for any time soon. I don't think the winds are going to blow hard enough to blow this storm away. This thing is rolled in. It's unraveled. It's mutating. So they say. And we're all stuck in the middle. We're along for the ride. You either play by the rules or you have to prepare and be ready 
to play by your own rules and hopefully you can survive. Now something you really need to take into consideration with this too folks is, is your family. If you're a family, you have kids and everything else, you have to have a way to survive and provide for those kids. It has really turned into a very scary world that we do live in. And for people not to be prepped and ready for any type of situation, well, it's just foolish to me. Things are starting to get scarce in the stores. Mandates coming down. They're mandating if you go to the movies, you're going to go to the ballpark, you want to go to the races, you want to go to the store, whatever you want to do, they're starting to mandate it. If you want to take your wife and go out to dinner, certain areas, certain restaurants are starting to mandate depending on which state you live in, if you can enter or not. Pretty sad, isn't it, folks? This has all come down to this. Never thought I'd see it in my life, but here we are. Surprise! So what do we do? We have to be prepared, folks. No matter which way that you fall on any of these situations and these mandates that the government is dropping the hammer on, you need to be prepared to weather the storm. Period. I have another video coming out here shortly, and it's going to be talking about how the next few years, well, they're going to be it's going to be a scramble for survive, for survival, I should say, to survive and for survival. I'm looking forward to you all seeing that one. So until next time, folks, you all thrive to survive. Keep prepping. Prep to the max. Find whatever stores you can as far as to buy whatever it is you need because of all the inflation limits, lack of in the stores, and everything else. In the end, you have to be ready. Things are changing very fast. And I got a feeling we just already went over the first wave. The next big wave is coming. Because there's just a lot of stuff coming down the pike. And it ain't pretty. It's going to be a long, hard next few years. And we have to be ready. Because things aren't getting better. We'll cover that in the next video. So I'm Searles. And this is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I'm out. Thank you.